Never have I ever used solar paste. Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. Today I am going to make something with solar paste. Now I've done a never have I ever video with lunar paste and that was really fun. And now I've got the solar paste and I'm trying something, just, just one idea. Well, two ideas, but one idea. I'm gonna keep it very simple. I like to start out with a little success and build from there. Did I succeed? You'll have to stick around to find out. Those experiments are coming up next. So here we have solar paste, and this is something I have never used before, but I received these from my friend Simon and the folks at Ranger, and thank you for that. And I'm going to give this a little play today. And I'm gonna grab some stencils that I love, and I have this idea to go on black cardstock because I've seen it and it's cool, and we're gonna give it a go. All right, let's get started. I wanna show you something. I have this new Tonic Studios Tim Holtz mat, and I haven't used it yet. It's, I think I'm going to lay it here on my surface, and I don't really care. Oh, <laughs> there's my hair. That's beautiful. I don't really care so much about the bubbles because what I was hoping would this would just be a nice surface to work on that I can get really messy with my pastes and it will be easy to clean up. All right, let me get some cardstock. For the first panel I want to create, I have this CZ Design Simple Stencil Duo, and I love this little duo, but I think I'm going to use the stars. And I love this because this is the same size as any USA2 panel. So all I have to do is tape it down like this. And I'll just make sure it's as straight as I can get it and tape that on like that all right now i probably will put a little tape here just to hold that in place and well i guess here goes nothing what i want to do is i want to create a blend like a rainbow blend i've got my little scraper right i'm gonna pull this across i think i think that's the plan let me get a damp paper towel ready i'm just gonna spritz this with some water that i just keep here at my desk the cardstock that i'm using is just simon's stamp black cardstock and if i'm gonna work in the rainbow order because these look so similar i'm gonna need to be mindful oh it's very creamy look at that so i don't <laughs> Wish me luck. Here's what I'm gonna do. I put some here, right there, okay? And then just scrape that back in. I don't wanna waste not, want not, right? Like that. And then I'm gonna wipe that down just so I don't contaminate the next one, which is the blue. Okay, oh, you can see the, oh, you can see it in there. Okay, getting some blue here, like this. Oh, got a little. I, I'm not super skilled with my paste, so when I say I've never tried something, I mean, I don't I do not do enough with paste. I probably should do more with paste. They're fun. I think this is going to be fun. Oh, <laughs> could be. I'm all butterfingers. Okay, take you here, and we're just going to put you right here, because I do, I do want there to be a mix, okay? All right, and it's funny because it all looks white, doesn't it? Like, oh, those look really boring. Well... No, because what's gonna happen, let's see here, is we're just gonna we're just gonna drag this across with our scraper. Let's see what happens. Hold down the cardstock. And oh, oh, I can totally see it. I can totally see that. That is rad. Okay, and I think let's do a little more down here, right there. Got a little that I missed. Scrape it. Oh, cool. Wipe that, because I don't want to have blendies going back in. Now let's lift and see what happens. Okay, and I think these are going to be way more separate than I thought they would be. Uh, let's just do a lift from this side. Come on now. Get so nervous with my pastes. And we're going to lift straight up. Oh, look at that. Look at the pretty shine. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna wipe off stuff with water. Now, I'm not worried about this because I am going to trim. So I guess we just clean it up with a little water, and I'll go rinse this off. 
And I'm just bringing in a nubby cloth and just wiping this down. You know, maybe I should have taped off the sides here because I did get a little on the edge, but I, I that's really pretty. All right, I'm gonna set that aside, clean up, and we'll do another. Okay, for the next one, I have the three other colors here, but I feel like I may just do these two, all right? I added some masking tape to protect the edges of my paper here. And I'm just gonna put a little here like that. Maybe come up a little like that. I want there to be a little mix in between, but I don't, I don't know if that's really gonna work. So we'll try. All right. We're just making, we're just playing, doing things that we normally wouldn't do. I need to wipe this off. And now up top, we're gonna do the overheated color. Okay. So It's so creamy. It really is a beautiful, beautiful consistency. And I'm gonna overlap that a little. And we'll just do that so that maybe we get a little mix in there like that. I don't wanna mix that back in. Okay. All right, let's drag and well, close this. I feel like there's so many things happening. Okay, dragging commence. Let's go like this. I may not have enough on here, but we'll see. Oh, I bet I do. Look at that, oh, I do. Yeah, just get in there like that, get up there, kind of potch that in. Potch, potch. It's like, it's like creamery butter. All right, we're gonna wipe that away. And then I'm gonna wipe this off right away with my wet cloth. And this, I think that, I'm, <clears throat> I'm getting this on very thin, but I think that's kind of cool. So peel you back, peel you back. Shiny goodness everywhere. Peel you back. And now I protected those sides. So let's lift this up and see the prettiness. Oh, look at that. It's so, sh it's okay. The light is not catching in here at all. I think that looks great. All right, let me clean up and let this dry. One more idea that I want to see if this works for two card ideas that I have. I am going to take, let's see here, maybe I'll take the purple from this or the blue, it doesn't really matter. I wanna make, and this is called Royal Flush, I just wanna make a spread of this color on my cardstock. And I'm gonna spread it like I'm, almost like I'm swatching it, right? I'm just gonna, well, I might have way too much here, but that's okay, because what I can do is put that back in but I want to see if I can make a custom panel to die cut my greeting. We'll see, it could be really pretty, but I want it to be as smooth as possible. I think that's pretty good. And again, you can really see that pigment come through here, all right? Let's kind of spread it out. All right, I think I'm overworking it. We're just gonna let it go like that. So it has some texture and it's kind of funky, okay? And then I'm gonna wipe you down on my cloth and I'm going to bring in the cross my heart and do the same thing here at the bottom. And then I'm gonna let it dry really well before I attempt what I think I'm gonna try. That's probably fine. Okay, get that back in the pocket or in the package and close it up. All right, gonna let those dry. Now that these have started to really dry and these didn't take long at all, look at the, now you can really see the color. Look at that. I mean, it's just so beautiful. And then here are these two pieces and here's what I did. I cut out a yay you greeting. I want to do a grad card and I've got two layers of the black cardstock, one layer of silver. 
because I think silver would look good with the cool tones. But I think what I'm going to try is to cut the shadow layer out and let me let me just cut these in half real quick. Okay, I'll set that aside for now. It's a little thicker. I'm going to die cut this and see what it looks like. So I've got my little plate here. <laughs> Let's see here. And I'm going to trim these down too, but I thought it would be kind of cool to get as much of the purpley purple as I could, even though it's not, you know, perfectly done or evenly uh, on there. I think it's going to look good because it's going to have this nice shiny base. So let me run this through my die cut machine. Let's see how it comes out. All right. I think, I don't think that's stuck in a strange way at all. I think, oh, that looks really cool. I mean, it's just, it's just funky. So let me uh, glue all of these together and add this to this little shadow layer. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to show you I mean, this is a perfect panel, but I need to crop it out because I got some, well, I, I probably just erase that. But what I'm going to do is get this panel so that that is basically centered. And I'm going, oh, come down a little, I'm kind of looking at it funny. I'm going to cut this out uh, just so I have this panel ready to roll. That looks pretty good. All right, tape it into place and I'll run that through. Just wanted to show you something. I noticed I had just a tiny little bit here. Uh, let me get these out of the way. Right here, and sometimes uh, this tool is called the Creative Detailer, and sometimes I'll use it. You can use a mono sand eraser too. But I'm just gonna lift up that extra paste. So it does not catch the light. All right, good to go. I added spray glue to the back of my greetings here and I'm gonna stack them right on the shadow layer. Um, I think this will work just fine. There's not a lot of wiggle room with spray glue. So when you commit, you commit, but we're gonna build up the dimension. I also use a N95 mask when I'm spraying just to be uh, not breathing this stuff in, you know, it's not, it's not the best stuff in the world for your lungs or the environment, but it is quick. Um, and sometimes I love also that I know these are never going to come off. Like they're just, they're stuck. They're stuck like glue. Pop this on so that you get that. Hopefully what is a more easily read greeting, right? Hold on here. I'm going to and even if you see a little of the black, that's fine too. It does not matter because the, the card itself is going to have that black in it. So now look at that fun greeting oh, <laughs> that's going to go right onto my panel. I feel like this is just a really fun uh, look for a card. This could be a n nice for anyone really, anyone who likes shine. I'm going to let that adhere. I'm going to get some foam on the back and we'll finish out this card first. All right, I'm going to score my note card here. This is going to be a horizontal card. I'll just give that a nice score and fold that down and give that a nice press. I think I will tape this closed before assembling just so it stays nice and flat. Take my foam tape off. I did four strips because anytime I do something that introduces moisture to a cardstock, I want to make sure that I minimize the warping, but I really didn't use um, a ton of paste. And now I'm just going to center this right there. Now I also have this little friend and I'm going to put some liquid glue on the back here just to Give me that little bit of wiggle room. This is Connect Glue from Gina K. I just need to, need to refill my bottle. And we're gonna do Yay You right in the center. And you're gonna get all that good shine. Oh, I think that's very cool. Come on, 
that in there? This is why I like liquid glue. I think I'm a, no, I'm not too, well, maybe a little. It's stuck where it's stuck. Okay, and now I'm gonna <laughs> try and get the shine. It's really hard to get the shine under, under certain lights, but here we go. We're gonna go like that. It has that sheen to it. Isn't that fun? Ooh, that is a, that's such a mysterious card for me, right? So dark, you can make that shadow layer, but that is the finished card project. Let me show you how I finished out the other card as well. To finish off this other panel, what I did was I trimmed this down and I matted it on a little bit of rose gold metallic cardstock, and I die cut the word hugs from my CZ Design Basic Trio. It has, it has hello, thanks, and hugs. No shadow layer in that set. It's just very simple. But again, look at the shine. Let's zoom in here. And I will tell you, it was a little tricky getting the hugs out because of the paste, but I think it die cut really well. I could have let that uh, sit much longer, and I didn't, but I think that turned out great. So solar paste look at the funkiness there i think that is really fun again i've only just started to play with this and playing with this on black cardstock but i also thought this pink note card and this is simon says stamp cotton candy i thought that sort of was the perfect color match for these so those are my finished card projects have you tried solar paste yet i'm curious and you should let me know in the comments this is a really fun, cool texture, and I'm looking forward to doing some more things with it, like ink blending and then stenciling over with coordinating colors of this particular paste. You can find links to the products I used in today's video below in the YouTube description box. And if you're not a subscriber, please become one. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you back here with another card project soon.